Look, two nights ago, we heard part one of Michael's interview with Sean Marks. We now present part two, featuring a heavy emphasis on Harden and the way the move to get him went down. Let's go back a little bit. What will you remember most about the final 48 hours before the Harden trade? Uh, like with everything, there's a little bit of a suspense. There's, uh, you know, you're, you're going through your checklist of, you know, have we crossed the T's, dotted the I's? Is everything in, in place? And, and, and to be honest, will, will it happen? I, you know, I don't know. Like that, 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 that uh, particular trade moved very quickly um, to, to get us to, to put James in a, in, a, in a Brooklyn Nets uniform. So that one happened quick. Was there jubilation? How would you describe the energy uh, with your staff once it was finally official? Well, yeah, there was, there's definitely excitement, w without a doubt. You, you know, we're, we're, we're thrilled to have uh, to James, to have James part of this group, to, to be around us. And, and I think we're, we're seeing what he brings to the table, which is, which is really incredible. You know, extremely high basketball IQ. Um, his voice, his voice in the locker room, his leadership characteristics. So, um, you know, we're thrilled. We're thrilled with that. Um, and, and, you know, there's two sides to every trade, right? The first is obviously we're ecstatic to have James part of this. And then the side where we're having to move some pieces in order to get him. So there's, there's a little bit of like, well, let's make sure that offboarding is taken care of in the right manner. And, and without a doubt, there was... Um, uh, yeah, there's, it's always sad to see some people leave and to see those three guys, you know, have to leave and walk out the door after all they've been through. Yeah, that's never easy. So it's a small sample size, but what has impressed you most about Kyrie, Kevin, and James playing together? You know, I've really enjoyed um, watching their interactions on the court, watching the three of them come together, try and figure out a lot of problem solving, to be honest. You know, they haven't played together. Uh, they still haven't played together a whole lot, but I think what we're seeing out there is they're introducing, you know, new concepts. They are uh, involving their teammates. Uh, there's a lot of teaching going on. They're learning how to play with one another. So I think it's just it's part of the journey. I think we've always tried to embrace whatever season it is, um, whatever week, month of the season, and embrace it. It's all part of it. And to see those guys continuing to um, uh, to grow in their relationships. Uh, not necessarily always deferring. I think at first they're trying to you know, sort of feel each other out, like where should we be, what should we do? And now I think they're getting down to just playing basketball. Guys are enjoying playing with them. They're enjoying playing with one another. And as I mentioned earlier, it's, uh, they're having fun out there. And that's, that is absolutely important as you go through this season, which is unlike any other. In the, in the aftermath of the deal, did you feel like you had the depth to fill in the gaps with, you know, Jeff Green, Bruce Brown, Landry Shamit, TLC, Tyler Johnson. You know, how impressed have you been with the way the role players have performed? Uh, very impressed with them. Uh, um, you know, this was part of the plan is to, is to have a deep bench. And, you know, obviously we, we got rid of a lot of that depth, you know, during this hardened trade. Um, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that certain guys have sticked up. You know, we've seen, you know, you mentioned before, we've seen, you know, Bruce Brown really relishing in his role. Jeff Green taking more steps up in, in, a, in a leadership role and capacity and, and just playing so well, a vital part of this team. And, and the list goes on. I think we knew that we we're going to have to continue to tinker and, and, and look to fill some gaps and fill some holes. But, you know, it is about being patient. It's not about being rushed into something quickly. Um, you know, I, I, we can, it's easy to get caught up and thinking, oh my God, we need this. Let's go do it right now. And, um, could we have made moves or, you know, did, did, done some other things earlier on, potentially? I think we've got to figure out how this group plays together first and then just take our time, be patient, be strategic in how we continue to build.